I'm going to talk about the application of nuclear quadrupole resonance in quantum information processing. Uh, first time, uh, I will to consider two uh, spin three half after that spin seven half, and the last example is two couplet spin three half. And uh, so here I, I presented requirements for quantum hardware. This, uh, they are scalable, initial state, uh, uh, relative long uh, decoherency time, and uh, a set of quantum gates, qubits uh, measurement, and uh, connecting between qubits. And nuclear magnetic resonance is one of the possible uh, technology, but uh, there are some uh, disadvantages. For example, relative uh, long decoherence time and uh, connected between spins. Uh, there is uh, uh, this disconnection between these two points. And uh, a bit of data is represented by single spin half, uh, and uh, we can denote a ground state by, uh, by zero and uh, uh, excited state by uh, one and uh, any operator of single spin uh, half we can present it as a uh, three uh, Pauli operators and units operator and so our goal is to uh, develop the language which use this uh, uh, operator to describe spin three half for example a uh, spin three half we can represent as two spins uh, half and uh, let me uh, name this uh, spins, fictitious spins. So uh, any uh, operators of interaction, oh, so, uh, we can introduce a, a, a notation for a fictitious spin and represent quant a quadruple Hamiltonian as a Hamiltonian of two cowplut spin, a fictitious spin. It, for example, a, Nuclear quadrupole resonance looks like a Ising model, and for uh, and inter Zeeman inter interaction with magnetic field looks like uh, X Y models, and total Hamiltonian looks like a, a 3D Heisenberg model. And uh, what is very interesting is that uh, the couplet between spins depends on magnetic field, and uh, the main properties which of a qubit which uses quantum computing is entanglement. So now we have to check if uh, our system is fictitious spin can be uh, can be in the entanglement state. So we use uh, as measure for entanglement state we use a uh, concurrency concurrency uh, for full uh, uh, entanglement state uh, concurrency equal one and for separate state concurrency equals zero. So we see that concurrency is not zero, so uh, in this uh, system we can produce the uh, entanglement state. And now another example with a spin uh, seven half we can represent as three spins and uh, using a 64 uh, a, a Kronecker production between spins and so we can use also a a notation for a, a, a fictitious spin, and we see that now we can we find that a, a spin operators of spin three half can be present as, a, for example, three spins, a, a fictitious spin, and three a couplet a spin, so three body interaction between spins, <coughs> and the. We uh, can also Zeeman uh, 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 Hamiltonian. We can also present as a, uh, in in the uh, using language of the fictitious spin. So it depends of uh, direction of magnetic field. If the magnetic field direct along z axis, we uh, have interaction with all uh, fictitious spins. And now here we present a calculation of concurrency between all pairs of a fictitious spin. We 
see that uh, uh, there are uh, entangled state in, in this uh, system of fictitious spin. Also, we can uh, <coughs> calculate the three particle concurrency because be between all three uh, fictitious spins and in a weak magnetic field, uh, this concurrency reach the maximum value. So last uh, uh, example, we uh, uh, present the uh, 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 diametrical, diametrical molecular which uh, uh, contains two couplet spin, uh, three half, and now we have four uh, fictitious spins, and uh, uh, once more we calculate a concurrency between various parts of a, a, a fictitious spin, so in tabling state it's, uh, we can realize. So uh, as a conclusion, uh, I can say that the representation of the spin uh, large than half and the system we can represent as fictitious spin and can be used not only in quantum computing uh, but in to uh, explain usual nuclear quadrupolar resonance experiments. So thank you for your attention. Thank you.